This was not a failure to collect intelligence. It was a failure to integrate and understand the intelligence that we already had. The information was there. Agencies and analysts who needed it had access to it. And our professionals were trained to look for it and to bring it all together. Now, I want to explain something to you. What he just said is my agencies are stupid. It was not a failure to collect intelligence. It was a failure to integrate and understand the intelligence. So that's like saying you know certain things, but you can't connect the dots. You can't put two and two together. That makes you into an idiot savant, like a moron, in other words. What is the good of a thousand pieces of data if you can't integrate them, sort them out, and make a, make a conclusion? It's like a giant cyclops, the government, the intelligence uh, security system that we have. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? It's too big. There aren't enough people in charge of making decisions who can make the decisions. And what's the good of all this intelligence if it didn't work? In other words, the bottom line here is it didn't work. Just like 9-11, the same exact story. Another 9-11 all over again. So it wasn't that they didn't have the information. They couldn't integrate it. Same as 9-11. They couldn't put two and two together. Because by nature, a bureaucracy is stupid. It's plodding along. It's, it's idiotic. Listen to clip 22. I will accept that intelligence by its nature is imperfect. But it is increasingly clear that intelligence was not fully analyzed or fully leveraged. That's not acceptable, and I will not tolerate it. What does Time that mean? and again, we've learned. Wait, wait, what that. does that mean? Hold it! You will not tolerate it. So fire somebody. Say, as a result, I'm firing Janet Napolitano for the other thing, and the, the CIA agents. I'm firing Panetta, and that's it. We're starting afresh. We're getting professionals, not hacks, in there. What do you mean you won't tolerate it? You are tolerating it. This is like a fake teacher. Of teachers saying, I will not tolerate one more, you know, abuse, blah, 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 and you know he doesn't mean it. Listen to 30 to 23 now. In recent days, we've taken additional steps to improve security. Counterterrorism officials have reviewed and updated our terrorist watch list system, including adding more individuals to the no-fly list. And while our review has found that our watch listing system right, is right, we not... we heard it all before, right. All right. They were doing everything perfectly, and Al-Qaeda's already eight steps ahead of them. Eight steps ahead of them. They're in a mosque somewhere laughing at him, watching it on, on a closed-circuit television set with a feed probably directly from the CIA. They have a mole in there. They had to hire them probably through PC. They had to hire someone from Yemen. All right. What else is he going to do? Well, he'd get, he'd get, listen to this. He says he's doing this, doing that, but listen to what he says about uh, Guantanamo now, 25. I've spoken to the Attorney General, and we've agreed that we will not be transferring additional detainees back to Yemen at this time. But make no mistake, we will close Guantanamo Prison, which Why? has damaged our national security interests and become Nonsense. a tremendous recruiting tool for Al Qaeda. Bull. In Bull fact, crap. that was an explicit rationale for the formation of Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Nonsense. And as I've always said, we will do so, we will close uh, the prison in a manner that keeps the American people safe and secure. Oh, nonsense. We heard the same crap from Janet Napolitano. You're whistling in the dark. Are you kidding me? You people are locked into your left-wing doxies. You can't even see reality when it hits you in the face. You got a blizzard on your hands, and you're still pushing forward with cap and trade and global warming. You got unemployment through the roof, and you're going to uh, grant amnesty to 30 million illegal aliens who take their jobs. You people don't know what the hell you're talking about at any level. I'm sick of this double talk. I'm just sick of it. I don't buy a word of this garbage. I mean, I thought Bush was bad, man, but this is a nightmare. Listen to how he ends in 26. We need our intelligence, homeland security, and law enforcement systems, and the people in them to be accountable and to work as intended. Collecting, Wait, hold, sharing, Accountable means firing somebody when they screw up. What do you mean accountable? Are you accountable? Is the president accountable for anything he's done? How can he keep anyone else accountable if he's not accountable? When no one knows where he was born. Oh, I'm not supposed to mention that. I'm a birther now. Well, okay, you're a warmest then, you schmuck. Savage. We need our intelligence, homeland security, and law enforcement systems, and the people in them to be accountable and to work as intent. Collecting, sharing, integrating, analyzing, and acting on intelligence as quickly... Ah, come on. It's a bunch of... Uh, stop it, please, Mr. Obama. Please. 
the people are not stupid. They know that you don't know what you're doing. And they know that the, the government's acting like a cyclops just lurching along here. Same as 9-11. May as well be September 10, 2001. Now I read on a Middle Eastern report that the uh, terrorists are considering going past the crotch. We're already looking for the crotch bomb now. First, in, they, in other words, we're still looking for the next crotch bomber. They're going to, this is a horrible one, and I don't even know if I should tell you this. I read it this morning. I said, I can't believe it, that they're liable to use an aerosolized uh, uh, spray of toxic compounds on the air and the inside the cabin, killing everybody. You hear this? Like releasing an aerosol of uh, uh, botulinum in, in the uh, cabin of the plane. Can you believe what these people, how di diabolical they are? Can you imagine a religion that can be hijacked to this extent? I'm sorry, I don't know how else to put it. I mean, this is the naked 400-pound gorilla in the room. Could Christianity in this day and age be hijacked to say it's justifiable to kill innocent civilians in the name of Jesus? Tell me where it would be written. I have heard a, a theologian on this show justify, let's say, defending yourself in, a, in war through an act of uh, violence. Yes, defending yourself in war. But going on an airliner and, and, and killing innocent people on an airliner, which has no military advantage whatsoever? What, what, what is this? We, we sit here like morons. We've lost the war on terror. We lost it a long time ago. We lost it because of the mentality of this country, which is passive, politically correct, whatever you want to call it. We know what it is. It's called stupidity, in other words, in plain English. The enemy used to call us stupid. Idiotic. They're laughing at us that they can use religion as a weapon against us. Ha! Huh. They know how to work the system. The Trojan horse. Trojan horse. Trojan horse. Freedom of religion. That's if it's a religion. So there's a religion, usually, you, oh yeah, guys are religious. He teaches love thy neighbor as thyself. Do not do unto others you would have not do unto you. Religion teaches peace, so it's freedom of religion. That's wonderful. We all agree on that. Then along come a bunch of zanies and say, well, my religion says I'm allowed to blow you up and your children. That's not a religion. It's an act of war. So how do you deal with that? You give speeches like this? They'll connect the dots and the intelligence and we need this and Homeland Security and she'll be called at any hour out of the nightclub and he'll be called at any hour out of the, 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 the gin mill. Then we'll all get together and one, one stumble bum next to the other and connect the dots. And don't worry, we won't know what to do anyway. Pray to God there's a passenger aboard who can leap across four aisles and then strangle them. So the next day we could say the system worked. So we're in trouble. In other words, it's in our hands now. That's all. And where does that leave us? Now that we know that he's the failure. Went to Avatar. The whole country is waiting for a speech. He went to the movies with his kids. You ever hear that? Commander-in-Chief. It's like Pearl Harbor. An attempted on Pearl Harbor, and he, a guy went to the, to the movies and came out with the children. All governments by nature, since they're made up of men, are imperfect. It's just that some governments are more imperfect than others. And right now we have perhaps the most imperfect government in history. All left-wing fanatics, and they don't know what they're talking about, about anything. You name the subject. They're standing in a blizzard. They're freezing. They're talking about global warming. The country has massive unemployment. People can't find jobs on the bottom. And they want to grant amnesty to 30 million illegal aliens and take away even more jobs. I, I, I rest my case. I rest my case. So who listens to the speeches anymore? Speaks good. Nice voice. Bass all day. Speaks nicely. But what does he say? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Listen to clip 25 again. I've spoken to the Attorney General, and we've agreed that... Wait, hold on. I've spoken we... to the Attorney General. Wait, like, oh, wait. Spoken to the Attorney General. Who's that? A real genius, Eric Holder. Spoken to the Attorney General. An attorney who released Puerto Rican terrorists. Another left-wing fanatic from the get-go. Spoken to the Attorney General. Like some authority. Oh, hey. A real Felix Frankfurt, Eric Holder. Where'd they get him from? And, and what they conclude? Listen to what they concluded. I've spoken to the Attorney General, and we've agreed Said that... that. We will not be transferring additional detainees back to Yemen at this time. But make oh. no mistake, we We're will close Guantanamo Prison, right. which has sure. damaged our national security interests 
and all become right, all right. We heard all of the garbage that it closed. Yeah, Guantanamo. Yeah, by keeping the, the, the bad ones there, it damaged our national security interests. By releasing them and them going back to Yemen to fight against us, suddenly our national security interests went up. Our security got better. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. I'd give this guy an F in logic. There's not even logic here. Never mind the, the ability to BS the public, which he's not doing too good at. 